I mean, I really, we're getting into November. Our elections are in uh, April. I mean, realistically, I, I would leave, I would leave the, the, I would leave the makeup as is, you know, three, three board members, two stakeholders. It increases participation. I think it runs parallel with the theme of the budgetary cycle being outreach, but better rate of outreach to be, be more inclusive of uh, stakeholders getting involved in the committee process. So realistically, let's fill the blanks and leave the, the composition number-wise as is. Um, I know, for example, the Environment and Green Committee, I will still work with Cynthia and Ruben because, like I said, we have a project that we want to work on at the University Hills that's going to require well, you know, our, our diligence on that. And likewise, we still have like, the education and land use the people that are on the committee as of now are still have we still have a couple issues pending that we've been working on. So realistically, you know, this close to another election cycle. I'm not for downsizing committee sizes. I'm actually want to increase them in the spirit of outreach for the election for the upcoming election cycle. Okay, um, was it George Fontaine to some Yeah, he's he he is, his wife is having a baby and he wanted to bring that normal to the committee okay. except for his team wanted to continue to chair of support to bring. And also, Michael Robesa, I think he was going to remove himself from the education, so if that's the case, but you're with the only board member. Um, I know Eddie doesn't have, hasn't had quorum for two. Um, Beautification Committee also hasn't had quorum for a few weeks. Um, I don't know, what about you, Eddie? Do you think we should go back to the green? If we do two board members, one stakeholder? Two stakeholders or more. And I'll let the chairs decide. This is one thing I will say, and if we do revert, I, think I, I will let the chairs decide <clears throat> who stays on the committee. I will, and I'll remove them after the chair submits it in writing. I think what Scott said is, is uh, I mean, it's, it's late in the year, but I mean. Well, I think because, I mean, what? No, no, no. Tell me. Uh, I just don't think that it, it, it doesn't really. If you're in a committee and you still want to be part of that committee, whether it's three or five, you you know and you're still going to stay. So there's no usually. disruption to anything, you know. Uh, if you still want to do the work with the committee, the the issue is only when it comes to voting. If you guys are going to be voting to something uh, that affects people in the committee, then uh, it might get a little more challenging because now it's going to be three voting people instead of five. Uh, I like to get two people in. That's what I'm saying. If you had a committee yeah. of three, you only need yeah. two people. Two people. And you would have to move forward with your agenda. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I know yeah. I've been going to your meetings and you guys don't have forms. That's the ideal. Yeah. That's what we're going so, oh, yes, I'm I sort of feel, speaking specifically to the membership and outreach committee, is with the amount of new board members or directors we got seated, we could fill that position. If they would want to. That's what I'm saying. I want to leave this open for well, discussion there's, there's, if we have enough participation. Because one thing <laughs> is to be, say you're going to be on the committee, and then another thing is to show well, up to your meeting. The answer is if you want to, yes, but the way the composition is set up, it's almost mandates that we have three board members. But since there's only two, it would like, not that you want to, someone, a director, has to. Because we're all volunteers, I understand that, but the composition is five, which would be three directors, two stakeholders, and since there's one state, uh, excuse me, one director missing on the membership and outreach committee, we would almost obligate a director to say, someone has to do it. Yes, we, no one wants to, but someone has to step up, because it's hard taking the workload. I know this, Tammy, is on six of these meetings, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm including this one, it, it, I mean, five listed. Well, the bylaw doesn't, it's a But I mean, it's a heavy workload for us, so we have, I think, four new, I didn't count 40 board members, right? Maybe yeah. one of them would say, you know what? I would be on the membership and arms committee, and I would like to keep it as five, but to help Eddie out to achieve his quorum, you fill it with a, a board member. There's and, five and new board members. Five new board members? Yeah. I think someone, one someone, <coughs> I guess it should, should, be, should be able to. But, but, step but up the and, question, I guess, right here, the motion on the floor is do we present to the board to see what the rest of the board feels if we should go back to three, let the chairs. The chair of each committee decide which board members they want of the current committees, and then they could have that, and there'll still be some vacancies. But the, the motion on the floor is, Tammy said, to revert back to the three. Two board members, one stakeholder. Do we move forward to put it on the agenda? Give me one second. Do we move forward to put it on the agenda? Yes, Cynthia. 
Well, I would rather prefer to stay on those three committees because I've been committed to all three of them. I've done what I'm supposed to do as far as attending events and all. And I don't, know, I don't see why I need to be removed either. I no, that's only so that we can give the opportunity to new board members. If they decide they don't want it, you can continue to be. I have no issue. However, the motion on the floor currently is to revert back to the way it was before, so that there will be, so there will have quorum. All the committees will have quorum. It'll be easier. You know what I mean? Sometimes. And you can have up to ten volunteers. Yeah, fifteen, thirty, as many as yeah. we can. The the question here is, do we go back to revert to the three member committees? What is it right now? You, you guys. Five. Five. Three is the way to go. Three. Especially when you have money issues. That's really why you need the quorum for the money issues. The other stuff, you just can get the volunteers, okay. you know, whatever. But so, what I wanted to ask you is, uh, when you come to the board, are you going to first ask the, the okay. board members and the stakeholders out there that you have these vacancies, if anyone's interested in terms of the board members of volunteering to get, when you announce what's available? Well, I, Hang on. And then the stakeholders, if they're interested, as stakeholders in those committees that are open, and if no one says anything, it's usually the thing that happens, then at that time, would you be willing to ask them, you should already have in mind, who do you think you want in this committee, that committee? You could ask them. Since no one said anything, then, then I think it would be in order and, and professional for you to ask uh, Cynthia. Say she's one of the four or five new ones, and <coughs> there was another one. Cynthia, would you be interested in this committee? Whoever you think, when you talk, to each other, and who do you think you want, and what committee would be effective after no one volunteers? Mr. Thomas, what I would like to do is present the motion as presented by Tammy. Well, of course. And then have the board, if we go back to revert to the three, right. then I would like the chairs of those committees to decide who works. Uh, they know who works well within the committee and the active. So they can decide, send me an email, and then by the fall, we'll, we'll approve it that day. And then we can uh, go ahead and uh, move forward. I can just update my. Could you ask them to raise their hands so you can handle it right then and there? That is that, that waiting another month. Mm -hmm. Once we vote whether we want it or not to revert back to the three or stay as we are. So I would. That's the motion on the floor. Yes. Ms. Yes. My my only concern with going back to to three committee members instead of five is that if you look at the stakeholders, most of the committees have two stakeholders, and. Um, by going back to three, you're going to limit the stakeholders' participation. There's some franchising. That's my only concern. And we'll, well, we'll, well, the, the, the only issue is that they haven't been going to the meeting. So it's been the doing. stakeholders who haven't been going? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know for the membership and the 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 For the unification also, that's <clears> the case. And it's hard to understand for, for Mr. Sanchez to show up because he is a teacher, you know. Everybody's got a life. I know, I mean, it's, so it's hard. That's hard. what I'm saying. Well, the essence of this is to meet Cora yes. and to move forward as a community. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to share that out there. I mean, no, I'm not. I, totally, I mean, I originally had wanted the. Remember? Uh, I yes. went through this whole issue of having five because I wanted more stakeholders. But the thing is, again, because of the lack of quorum, sometimes these meetings aren't happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ms. Johnson? When do we get to volunteer next week or at the membership meeting? If you'd like to take one of those places, next you know, week. Right yeah. next week. Next. Okay. We'll have it open in front of you. What would you like to take? Let them know. I would like to, know. But if you would like to be on the membership outreach. Unification. You know, well, but, but here's what the Mr. Ansemo, before you say that, if, if this motion passes, then we're going to, these are going to change. You mean second it, yeah. Yeah. No, it did. It was second by you. You, you seconded it for conversation purposes. Oh, well, I convinced him. I didn't convince him to the motion. Yes, you did. You said it. 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 You Okay, for the sake of discussion, I will second the motion. But uh, for discussion now, is that I think there's probably I'm with Cynthia here too. We we really got a technique. We really got a system going with the respect to committees. Our little clubs that move around the education, records, board, and environment of green. Okay, we we have a system down to expedite documenting the meetings. Our minutes are done when we leave the meetings. Okay. 
Um, we, that's what I mean. I'm really, I, I, at this point, I, I just, I can understand maybe a certain committee be downside. Maybe to have the meeting here, it's maybe some committees go down to a 2 1 in terms of board member and yeah, stakeholder. Some committees have to be all but I, I really, I really think you've got a couple of these committees where they need five, okay? And in the spirit of, of getting people involved in the process, and I think in this late, late, late any of the game, you don't, up, you don't change the apple cart around, you just keep it as is. So, I mean, because I, you know, realistically, we, some, of these, some of these committees, I know, and the ones I'm on, we've got some projects that are ongoing, and I hate to, you well, know, you I, mean, more people the better, and. I've I, always thought that. I'm the one that has created mm -hmm. the five member committee, and I fought for it at the beginning. My mm -hmm. issue is the quorum and the lack of quorum. Right. Now, the other one um, that I just have right now, you currently, can't. the Sports and Rec. They're requesting to remove a member due to some issues. We're going to attend the meeting next month. They requested for the some executive members to be at the meeting. So that's another one. I don't know what's going on with that one. So um, they can postpone until next month. Is that only open to exec members for that particular meeting? They requested the, the chair of that committee asked us to be there. Yeah, yeah, but only No, it's people? open to the public. It's so open how will I know that that's going to take place? You look at the website. It'll be posted to the agenda. Uh, thank you. Like everything else. Yeah, I, 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 um, I'm okay. not going to discuss it here. We've got agendas. So anyway, so the standing committee, the other thing is an ad hoc, um, there's three ad hoc currently, the election committees that were back in July, people signed up for them. And uh, Tammy Membreño, myself, and Yoli Garcia, she couldn't be on it before, but now she could be on it because now she's a board member. All right. And then the ad hoc standing rules, Mr. Pacheco, Tammy Membreño, and Erika Duarte, I have a, a, a Hugo Pacheco understanding. I've had many conversations with him pertaining to that issue. And he tells me that he, because I said, why don't you get your committee, start having meetings, and go through the whole bylaws and everything. So hang on, right. listen to me. So when you are authorized the, the uh, bylaws committee to start functioning, for whatever reason, legally they can't function right now, <clears throat> fine. But the standing committee can function. So. He says that he's not authorized to start meetings. So I'm bringing it up to you and the execs here. So if you're hearing this, you need to get a hold of Hugo and let him know that he can start ASAP his standing committee. Because he wants to, but he feels that he can't because you're not authorizing him. No, no, it's just the standing Well, now you've heard it, so now you need to address that issue. Okay, that's good. We have it on here. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, to touch on what Ruben is mentioning, uh, regarding the uh, we were talking about the, the committee which you will check with on, right? You were saying about right. the standing committee. Standing committee, he's okay. the chair of that. The standing committees can meet, right? Uh, they have to vote because they do compose of stakeholders. The ad hoc okay. committee, that's what my question is. Are they going to, which they are, comprised solely of board members? Yes. Are they going to be posting as well? Because that's yes. the rule. They will. They will be posting. Okay, because the rule is they that they're all, posting. yeah, yeah, no, but if it's an ad hoc and they're all directors, yes. you don't need to post. Yeah, I know. Okay, but you will but be I think you don't want order. We can't. The city attorney direct order, we cannot have stakeholders. You could, but then well, we have to post. That's what the no. stakeholder does. It allows the mandatory posting. Well, that's what it does. I think it should be a standing rule that we post anyway. Right? I think that's a good idea. Well, it could, but that's a good idea. Because, because the, the ad hoc committee, the word ad hoc means it's a temporary yeah, meeting. Those temporary meetings, if they're composed solely of directors, don't yes. have to post. Right. But it would be a good idea to be transparent and accountable, so I would like... And then I'm going to touch... Oh, and what you mentioned about Hugo, uh, he, is, he is the chair of the Standing Rules Committee. Yes. The, the bylaws committee, or any meeting, a committee could meet. Now, the, I've heard you mention several times that there's a moratorium on the bylaws. Only the bylaws. What it is, is the bylaws is a moratorium to approve and submit. Right. That doesn't mean month after month after month they could not be meeting. They should have been meeting, could be meeting, and perhaps could have progressed into a whole bylaws within the last year to have some sort of work done. So when, it, when the moratorium is released, which is what we've been alluded to, then the bylaws as a, as a whole is, has already been completed. Okay. The moratorium doesn't mean we can't work on them, it just means we can't approve them to turn them in. Okay, so we'll make sure we make that announcement at the board meeting. The last one is the ad hoc. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Tell me. Oh, come on. Uh, because you had mentioned that before, and because I wanted to make sure that I had an answer for you, I checked with Grace Liu, and she said when there's a 
moratorium, you should not be working on your bylaws because that means that the public is not able to come in to give you input because you can't post that you're having a meeting on the bylaws. Well, so, you, of course you would post it. No, you. Because there's a moratorium. There's a moratorium on working on the bylaws for everyone. You cannot submit, make ch modifications or changes to the bylaws. That's what the moratorium is. So if you start working on the bylaws, you cannot post them because you're not being empowered by Empowerly to work on the bylaws. Every single meeting for the for the bylaws has to be posted for right. the public to be able to give input. Absolutely. So you can check that with Gracie Lou and Absolutely. get a clarification in your mind as to why she said that we should not be holding meetings with them. The only way you can get around that is through Google. Google. And Ms. since Tammy's the chair, yeah. so it's her determination. And she's already I'll checked that. Grace, Grace, you would like send an email to everybody. Okay. She's correct, um, 100%. So Google is the only Mr. answer. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas, Mr. Thomas, please okay. maintain your faculties. And the last one, ad hoc for inventory. Mr. Scott Johnson, yeah. you're still interested in being the chair? Yeah. Okay, great. So we just need, depending, uh, you know, we still need a couple more members. <coughs> I, I don't know if you only would like to be part of anybody else. Do I have all the chairs for that. You want to do that one too? Yeah. <coughs> what do you have to do? Yeah, all the chairs for what? Inventory. Just in the end. Well, I can volunteer for that too. I want to see what we have. Yeah, I had asked. So put Cynthia next to Charlie. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, but so that's going to be very specific. Duty. It's got the big truck. Yeah, not a problem. I'm very good at that. So, you got the other thing. You put so, ribbon? Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll nominate <laughs> Cynthia with an asterisk. <laughs> and Mr. Chavez. How will I find okay. out when you have those meetings for that? Because Mr. Scott Johnson will be telling you. <laughs> All right. He's the chair. Yeah. I'm posting his agenda we'll on the website, on the Yahoo groups. Okay, so next item. Okay, so this is just an update. Okay, so committee on the agenda. Oh, yeah, sorry, what are we going to do with the motion? Okay, let's uh, vote. Let's take a vote, please. We have a motion on the floor. We have a motion on the floor to um, revert back to the three committees. I'd like to take a vote. Okay, all in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? This is to reduce it to three? Yeah, to reduce it to three. Anthony? Let's take the vote again. Three, one, abstain. No, I'm gonna, okay. what I want to do is I want to make sure we follow the bylaws and I want to reduce it to three. So that's my position. Okay, so then well, then you're everybody, okay, can we take the vote again? Okay, all in favor, raise your hand. Opposed? Okay, so. Abstention, 410. Okay, so the motion, Tammy, this is going to be <clears throat> the executive committee. The executive committee and party agenda? Yes, give me one second. Yeah, we have the driver on all of them. 
Okay, so G and oh, table in chapter 15. Okay. Yeah. Only execs are allowed for that? Huh? Only execs are for the thing you're asking? No, no, no. If anybody can go. I'm just saying, you know. It's invite yourself. You can invite yourself. Yeah, man, you take your big trip with flashing light. What I'll do is I'll make a list of all the streets that they've said, and then, you know, they're going to make they're going to pick at the end. I mean, they kind of give us which would you prefer. Yes, Mr. Chuck. But I have one right. street that they want from Huntington Drive all the way to, like, Macra, so that's going to be impossible. There's one that I saw. Where was that? Did you submit it? Okay, submit it to me and then I'll put it on my list. Yeah, because I sent an email. I sent it on the email, Facebook, every, everywhere. I, I, and I did. I got a lot of responses from stakeholders. So I have to say that it's we did our outreach. Okay, so moving on. Now we have uh, item number five review of proposed resolution. Uh, number five. Credit Commissioner, remember our agenda is like. I would, I would respectfully have to try and hold back on any new stuff and then go, I think the agenda that was pending after that special Saturday Yeah, meeting, I'll, read, I'll read it to you guys right now. Let's yeah, let's, let's okay. not add so anymore right now. Okay, number six, review of proposed resolution. Uh, number, number, oh. I don't have a uh, resolution or action item to submit, but as part of the discussion on this, I wanted to okay. touch on what Scott had mentioned since it is agenda. What uh, our board felt about the election date that was been selected by the Department of Neighborhood Department. That's on a Saturday, the April, what is it, 29th? 20? 20. 20th is do you feel comfortable with that? Because there has been an email sent out by other neighborhood council board members, uh, perhaps encouraging us to perhaps change the date. Um, you have to change the date? April 28th. I believe that's the date. It's on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And them sort of selected the date, but my understanding is the date is not confirmed. And basically, oh, what sorry. we could do as a board is to determine if we want that date. Let me check my calendar. You guys can check your calendar. I will make it. And since it's so far up, you can make it. We could probably put it on the agenda for discussion, maybe. And my, yeah. So far, I, I like it. I like it. I, I don't want to change nothing. Why don't we leave do? it to the board? Okay, here's what I what suggest. To not because we have so many items on the agenda. Can we can you send out an email to all the board members and then get a response from them? Yeah, that yeah. Would be well, for, an informal survey. An informal survey? Yeah. Or would you okay. like I know I know I've read the email, Frank Wada wants a darn thing on, on a weekday so he can get all the high school kids the ball again for what Vera wants in a comments. So. Okay, let's not go there, Scott. Uh, we're not gonna criticize That's the report. You're on the board. That's right. I knew you were no. on that, right? Hey. Yeah. April 26th, that would be after Earth Day, right? Usually yes. the Kite Festival is around they, that time. Usually the Earth so the Kite Festival you is might, on the 12th or 19th. Yeah, so you might you want to keep it after because Kite Festival? Because they can't do Earth Day on the 20th this year because it's Easter. Oh, okay. So, then so what, you would have to do it like on the 12th or the 13th yes. or the 19th. I'm just thinking like for outreach purposes, you might yeah. want to have the, keep elections the way they are so it's after the Kite Festival. Yeah. And that way you can do outreach at the But FYI, well. so if you want to mention it to the committee, Cynthia, yeah. Earth and Culture. Yeah. Easter is on the Earth Day that weekend. So make sure you guys. So Kai Festival before Easter. So can you look at that flyer and tell me what date we had it last year? It was on Earth Day. Yeah, Earth Day. That's what yeah. it was. It was on Earth Day. Yeah. It's only the last three years it's been on Earth Day. It's on Earth Day. This one says the 21st. 21st. Sunday. So that Sunday of Earth Day. Yeah, Earth Day. But it was Earth Day weekend because I think they celebrated Earth Day on the 22nd. The 22nd, on Tuesday. which was on. Mm -hmm. That can always but change by the whole weekend that yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Right? That Sunday prior to Earth Day. So then the 26th would work then. It's after Earth Day. That's what I'm saying. So that would be after Earth Day. Mm -hmm. I, I have no preference. I think, I think she was talking about the kite festival, yeah. not, the, not mm -hmm. the election. Not the election. The kite festival. I was saying just FYI, the kite festival. Yeah, well, it's, it's in that, that's what I'm saying. It's not going to be celebrated on the 20th. What does it fall on right now? On a Tuesday. Earth Day. Earth Day. Yeah, usually. And the weekend prior is Easter weekend. But well, usually they celebrate Earth Day on Earth Day. It just happened that it was on a Monday, so they, oh. they celebrated on, on a Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Leave it to the committee. Like so I, I would say that if, if, if you would like committee. me to write an email to all the board members and see an official count of who would like to keep that date, keep the date. I, I, do that. I vote to keep the date. I don't know about other I vote there, to keep no it. There's no flyer or anything? For yeah. that? No, not yet. I, I like well, the date. The election date has been discussed. Scott, you're fine with the date? I'm, I'm fine with that. I know exactly. I mean, that email, I, I really did kind of actually kind of. 
I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. All I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Anthony. I'm not going to belabor it. I just I I wasn't say, in agreement with that. If they gave us that date, I have no issue. I think that we do it next time. We do it next time. Outreach. Whatever the council it is, whomever wants to go vote, whether it is a week, weekend or weekday, I always prefer a weekend because people will have a little more time to go and do it. Sometimes, you know, even voting for regular elections, you know, oh, sure. you go and you go to work and then, oh, I, I yeah. don't want to go over. I really yeah. have on the weekend. Yeah, it worked so good last mm -hmm. time when he did on a Saturday. Don't, don't, so, mess with, don't mess with success. Yes. We had a 400% increase. Oh, you going to say what was our so then, okay. if elections are April 26th, are you still going to fill vacancies next month? Um, yes. So they will be in the agenda? Yeah, we have to fill them in. Oh, I forgot to do that. Yeah, right. it's not on And the, the reason why is because then they're going to mark, they're going to put a mark. Yes, so, so, so we could put it in the so agenda. So let's add it as G. Since we're not voting on G, then they would cancel um, the issue. Um, 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 um. Okay, so we should put it under. Uh, it would be new. so much stuff to do. Isn't it considered old business because we've had it on the agenda for a few months yeah, already? Yeah, it would be old business, but where should we put it? Under President's Report? So it'll be the President's first Report. Mm -hmm. Make it easy on yourself. Okay, it'll be the first item, fill in vacancies. Okay, so Scott, it'll be the first item on the President's Report, fill in vacancies. Okay. Cut and paste, hold on. Okay, so filling vacancies. So fill Filling vacancies for his item on president report. Yes. Okay, once again, we'd like to send out a reminder to all potential candidates. Yes, please do outreach if anybody knows, and I'll put it on the. Will we make like a flyer up or something? Or? No, we just usually send it out on the app when everything is. Are you, uh, since we're talking about candidates, are you going to have also there the, the question that Mr. Johnson is? supposed to have an uh, answer on the voting, you know? I mean, actually, Mr. Morales, since you brought that up, and I'm going to make a point here, I'm going to say this sternly and to the point. I was really upset at that kangaroo court at that last meeting. I'm not going to do it, okay? Because the same Mr. Aguilar went to a room he was unneeded and uncalled for that wasn't done to any other candidate. He did not that. So if he would like to do it, you take it. No, but you said that you were going to do no, it. No, I didn't say it was. I was told to do it, okay? And I did not have a chance to get back to Kanye on You can see I'm, I'm, I was very, very taken back at how that person was treated, okay? Because we did not go to the same grilling with the other candidates, okay? And I am not going to do that. I'm going to put it in the record because that that whole episode was needless, it was uncalled for, and it was deplorable. And the people who engaged in it should feel ashamed of themselves. I don't. Well, Mr. Well, Mr. Well, we're Tachiano. not going to go into the agenda, but okay. Okay, no so, so as far as I'm concerned, I mean, if you want to go follow through that, that's on you, but I'm not going to be involved in that. I was just questioning his love for the Alphonsino community. Well, I think okay, his Mr. 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 Santillan, you know, since we wrote that, you know, he's a pedophile. Give me one second. He's a pedophile, and he did his work, and he's been here. But the You're question was addressed to him whether he was going to follow through or not. So there's no discussion. It was from Tammy to Scott. Yes, this is just a question. It's not a discussion matter. It's not. It's not open to. So why wasn't he allowed to say all that then? It's not. It was a question to me, and I responded to it. Okay, so let's go back. So fill in vacancies. We're going to fill vacancies based on bylaws process. Okay, the order of selection is and it's done. Pending from uh, verification approval. Okay, so that's done. I have a question, ma'am, for now. Give me one second. Uh, I'd like to, we, we're totally running out of time. I still have a question. No, we, give me one second. I'm going to open it up to public comment right now, Mr. Chavez. Uh, so, anything brought forth no, by standing committees? It's something we went through this. Anything oh, brought forth by standing committees? Okay. Do you have that? Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. You yeah. have the uh, motion for the... Yeah. So you have a treasurer's report to do? No, I have to make sure. Yeah. I have to make sure that all the motions are on the agenda. They're on the agenda. You're going to set, make sure I have Ms. Uh, Lee to appear. This is going to be under your treasurer's... Because my note said six, and she said, well, okay, that's a, that's a eight. Okay, one. I have a question here, then. On the treasurer's report, motion to approve the allocated 20 budget package as required. And then we'll put all of these underneath that. You can do it that way. Okay. Right? And each one has to be written out because we That's fine. Okay. 
Okay. I have something for the president's report. Mr. Thomas, give me one second. I need to get this agenda ready. Okay. Yeah, we're at the o'clock. Okay, hour. so well, once you got something you want it. All these, all, all these that we read right now, <laughs> can you do it? Okay, any other items that you want to Look at um, when we went through this, we forgot to mention about the meeting that when they have, they're overlapping, and if you're supposed to have a calendar, and people are supposed to look at the emails, the uh, Yahoo, or whatever you call those Mr. things. Mr. Uh, we, Mr. Chavez, uh -huh. we like, we <clears throat> all the chairs have gotten a calendar, all the board members have gotten a calendar. But well, we still have having meetings. He has meetings that are overlapping with other okay. meetings. Same day, uh, same hour, different locations, and people can't Can go to those. When we talk about this at the general board, you can discuss that and we'll again you review the take care of it here. The math, I didn't bring math. Oh, it's not on the agenda. Okay, master calendar then. Uh, well, just put it as a thing on the standing committees? No, just a you know, discussion, oh, so discussion on the master calendar. Under five minutes. Okay. Master calendar reminder. It'll be more like a reminder. There you go. It's just thank okay, you. so make sure that yeah. chairs take a look. Chairs, please review calendar. So we do not overlap. I will send them a revised copy with this one, and I'll have to make an adjustment. There were three different times this month that meetings overlap, three different locations. Uh, I, don't want to, I don't want to print another attachment, so I'm just going to send it by email. All right. Master calendar? Master calendar. Also, we had the, I believe, meeting that wasn't here, but it was a petition, turn in regarding yeah, the letterhead. Yeah, so do you mind if I go over the, okay, so I'd like to go over okay. an agenda setting, number seven. Let me okay. go. One. Okay, one, so wait, 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 hold on, hold on. So okay. six, okay. So standing committee, Van Teen's done, okay. Okay. I'm going to put down at six. So seven, go ahead. Okay, number one, call to order, roll call. Number two, pledge of allegiance. Item three, review and appro approval of the meeting minutes. What's our meeting? October 2nd, uh, 2013. Yeah, second. Okay. Actually, wasn't that our um, training? Um, right here, I have one. Um, there's two. Yeah, the training one. 